So, uh, everyone knows what online learning is. Uh, it's quite big, it's uh, not an easy way to teach. And currently, 49% of higher education students in the United States are online learners. The same can be said with European learners. 40% of European learners are online learners. Uh, in Latin America, 71% of the massive online courses being, uh, being provided by uh, Latin American countries are from the universities. And also in China, who just started recently to implement online learning, 10% of their higher education students are online learners. So Asia is basically the second biggest market for online learning. And where does that put us Brunei in the ASEAN region? In 1999, the University of Brunei Dar es Salaam hosted the Commonwealth of Learning and we welcome heavy hitters of the online learning market uh, ranging from the Vice Chancellor of Online uh, University UK and the Director of Online University Hong Kong. They came to ASEAN to promote uh, the potential of using online learning as an alternative way to teach. Due to, in large part, because we perceive that learners will be able because they are very good technology users. But no, uh, that is not really the case. So what we need to consider is we need to look at who we are dealing with beforehand. We need to know which who, uh, who our learners are, which profile them, are they fragmentary, are they synergic. And then once we know all this knowledge, once we know all this information, then we'll be able to provide and cater them with something that really relates to how they learn. So we don't give them a one-size-fits-all approach. We don't dictate what technology that they must use. We need to listen to the learners and they tell us what they want to do.